Recently, I've posted a lot of content about edge cases of using Olama, things that are complicated and needed some explanation. I didn't post anything about how to just get up and running because it's just so easy. And so someone, obviously trolling, commented that the person watching should just set up Uba Booga and be done with it. You can tell it's a troll because setting that up is a huge pain in the ass. There are so many tools out there that are painful to set up and they were the inspiration for the team behind Olama. Make this stuff super simple. So let's look at how to get started with Olama. And this will be a short one. Even though I'm going to show getting started on Mac and Windows and Linux from scratch with nothing there. First, I'm on a Mac, so I'll start there. I've deleted Olama from my machine, so we are starting with nothing. Visit olama.com and click download. That brings you to the platforms page. It sees that I'm on a Mac, so it gives me that choice. Click download and then open the download. It unzips the olama.app file, which I can run. Yes, I trust it. Click open, yes, move it to the applications folder. And now there's a welcome screen. Next, yes, I want the command line tool to install, enter my password, and here are some instructions to get started. You'll notice that the Olama icon is now in the menu bar. Go to the terminal and run Olama run Llama 2. It downloads the model in just a few seconds. I am at the raffle where I can ask questions. If you don't like the text UI and prefer a GUI, there are a lot of choices on the GitHub repo, read me. So the process there was to go to the web page, download the installer, run it, then Olama run Llama 2 or whatever model you want. Let's try it on Windows and we shall see it's exactly the same thing. This is a Windows instance on Paperspace. Go to the Olama website and click download. Olama setup.exe is downloaded and we can run it. Click install and wait a few seconds. And now we have the icon in the task tray and it opens up PowerShell. Though you can also use the regular command shell instead. Olama run Llama 2 and it downloads the model and drops us into the REPL where we can ask a question. Okay, let's move on to installing on Linux. I've logged on to a Linux instance on brev.dev. I visit the website and grab the install script and paste it into the terminal. On the other platforms, I sped the install up from the normal 20 seconds or so to closer to five. But in the case of Linux, this is the normal time. Now run Olama run Llama 2 and we are at the Rapple. Ask a question and that's it. So that's Olama installed on three platforms from beginning to actually using it, done in about two minutes total for all three. I sped up the install by about 15 seconds on Windows and 10 seconds on the Mac, and the download of the model will depend on your internet connection. But there is no way, no way, that you could make the claim that there is any other tool that has even a fraction of the capabilities of Olama that can be installed in anywhere close to that time. So yeah, that was totally a trolling comment. Anyway, that's what I have for you this time. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll go back to the harder stuff next time. Thanks so much for being here. Goodbye.